All right, let's do it. The Mutz Line Single Basket. And I discovered something about this. So let's make a coffee with it and, um, and we'll see what's going on. One thing is you got to watch your tamp because, you know, you can't go all the way down because of the rim here with some of your tampers, depending on how thick. That's one thing I noticed. But let's grade one up because... You know, I was always thinking it wasn't going to be a great thing to use, but God, it, watch this. There it is. Look what it is. I got some machines going. We've been um, making a lot of Expressos book. It's the old line single basket. And um, I made a couple, and now I discovered something about them. Um, one thing is you can only tamp so far because, see, it's not that far there, so you got to watch out. You can get your uh, tamper stuck a little. And, but otherwise... You know, since it has a smaller bottom, it, your tamp works better. I've been using that dark um, roast coffee lately. That takes a lot of tamping more than our usual. So let's make one of these up. And yeah, you know, these might be um, kind of maligned, but you know, they're, they might be better than we think, especially if you have a dark roast or something like that. So let's go ahead and uh, grind some up. And okay, we ground some up. With the good old ice steel. So you can um, fit that just right, but if you get too much more, it'll kind of stick. Look, the, um, I didn't really plan that. <laughs> it looked good. Then you might have to take the funnel off. But see, you can um, you can only tamp so far, not much more than that, and it will stick if you go too far. So you got to be careful. And um, I've kind of pre-tamped this. Looks good. And we're going to pop a couple of these singles out. And here's another little oddity. The usual... Um, Porta filters I like to use in there, like these two. The little single basket in the green machine wouldn't fit well. I had to get out one of my other ones. Um, this one did fit, but that's kind of a little anomaly. But in the green machine, the other two porta filters just wouldn't take that basket, but this one fit nicely. So just a note, but <laughs> here we go again. And check it out, the handle's pretty stiff. And um, yeah, the little single basket does good, especially with the dark, because you use a little less coffee. I guess you could just put a little less coffee in a regular basket, but I think that smaller bottom works really good. Oh, check that out. What do we got here? Let's see. It really works good with this um, dark roast coffee, so that was epic. Let's go ahead and do one over here. I wonder if I can do one of my um, single, yep, there we go. I have a certain technique. You can raise the lever with one hand, but you have to have a little certain torque to do it. So we'll pop this one up and, um, you know, it takes a little bit. And the other ones always start flowing very quickly, but let's go ahead and do this. This one went a little thing. Look how nice it comes out. So the, you know, the single basket with the dark roast works really good. And it also helps with the coffee that, like this is a bulk coffee. So it's not gonna be as fresh as like a fresh roasted coffee and all that, but um, for the price and what, sometimes you have, you know, you have to take into account what we drink every day and not everyone can have um, $80 amount of coffee every day or whatever, 60, we have 40. We found out ours was 30 and, you know, we like that coffee, but um, yeah, anyway, this isn't bad. For a little savings, but yeah, that comes out pretty good. Single baskets are working um, excellent. Okay, yeah. So I've never used them before, but there's the um, single basket. Maybe I used it once, but I don't really ever remember. But you know, it turned out pretty good. And I think that been line for the amount of coffee, but you know, with a dark roast like we saw, or um, a medium dark for some people, it works pretty good. I think part of it is that it has a smaller bottom, so it gives you an easier way to tamp if your coffee's not as fresh. And uh, yeah, it came out good. I didn't clean this one up. The puck came right out. No muss, no fuss. And um, I don't really always look at these things. It's a little silly, but yeah, look at that. It's a beautiful little puck solid and uh draw you know perfectly consistent and uh, really nice it's it's hard to keep the top going down with the amount of coffee but yeah it worked out good so yeah the little single basket don't malign them and if you have a dark roast and what maybe a milky or a smaller coffee these those kicked ass they really work good look at that
and I think part of it is the bottom. So maybe we've all, maybe everyone's missed it because I like the Electra, the bigger coffee, because I usually have a bigger mug, but like a very strong dark roast or something makes a, a really nice amount, a little less, um, a little magical because of the smaller bottom. But yeah, that's it. So here we go again. Another, another super cool thing to do. The pucks work good. And um, yeah, that's it. Wait till next time. We got a lot of epic things going on.